Hello everybody and welcome back to the Drive MX-5 channel. It is maintenance day for the Miata. I'm almost at 34,000 miles on this car. Hard to believe I've driven it that much already. Now I just recently did a Tale of the Dragon trip about two months ago and in the last three weeks I've done two different track days, one at Sebring and one at the firm. So it's time to change all of the fluids in the car including the transmission, differential, and engine oils. Now I've already made a video about how to change the engine oil in this car. You can find it up top here or in the description below if you haven't seen it go ahead and go watch that one however one thing differently I will be doing today is getting a sample of the oil and sending it out to Blackstone labs the reason for this is I want to see the health of this engine I want to see if the oil uh, still has life in it even after 6,000 miles and those two track days as well as just see the general health and the uh, condition of the engine internals so today's video is going to focus on how to change the transmission fluid in your car car and how to change the differential oil in your ND Miata. Now for the transmission, it takes 2.1 quarts, so we went ahead and got three of them here. For the differential, it's only 0.6 quarts, so one quart will be just enough. I've got the Mazda Long Life Transmission Oil, that's what they recommend in this car, as well as their Hypoid Gear Oil. The reason why I went with these instead of an aftermarket solution is because I will actually be moving to Knoxville, Tennessee come November. The weather's gonna be colder, so I wanna make sure I have the proper fluids in the car to handle those colder temperatures than what I'm used to here in Florida. Also, I did have modal competition gear oil in the car, but it's already been on two track days and that is a higher weight than the original fluid. Again, I'm moving to a colder climate, so I wanna keep the Mazda fluid in the car right now. Now, this is gonna be a very simple and straightforward process. The first thing we're gonna do, obviously, is get the car lifted in the air. You wanna do it all four corners, that way the car is level so that all the fluids drain out properly. And then along the way, I'll show you what tools you're going to need to complete this job. Let's go ahead and get started. Of course, this should go without saying but make sure you have a good drain pan that can hold at least you know four quarts or so because we're going to be doing both the diff and the transmission then we are also going to use a fluid pump just like this one or anything similar to pump the new fluid into the differential we'll be using the same pump to transfer the fluid into the transmission as well all right so starting with the differential so we're going to have to drain the fluid right here you'll see this is the drain bolt i believe this is a 24 millimeter bolt and then this one up here is the fill bolt. This is a 23 millimeter bolt. If you don't have these sizes, don't worry. You can use a crescent wrench to get those off as well. The first thing that we wanna do is go ahead and loosen the fill bolt. Reason being, if for whatever reason, you drain all the fluid out of the differential and then you cannot get the fill bolt off, well, you're gonna have a really bad time because you're not gonna be able to get the fluid back into the differential. So the car is gonna be sitting until you remove that bolt. Plus having that one loosened will allow airflow to go in as the fluid is draining out. So it makes the drain a lot smoother. All right, I'd say that the color of the fluid there coming out looks pretty good. It's still quite amber and yellow. You'll notice on the drain bolt that there will be quite a bit of metal shaving on the top here that's not a big deal they have a magnet on these bolts for this specific reason because naturally as the gears turn in there they will wear into each other a little bit and cause some metal shavings to fall off the purpose of this magnet is to keep them down here away from the gears so that they're not causing excess wear and tear again it may look bad but this will happen naturally especially considering that we have not drained the fluid here before and I have not cleaned this off this is the original fluid from when the car was first built. So let's go ahead and clean up this drain bolt and then put it back in and then we can fill up the fluid. Also, you can replace the crush washer here that comes on the drain bolt. It's not absolutely necessary, you know, reusing it two or three times won't be a big deal, but you can replace it. However, I will just be reusing the old one. So now that all of the old fluid is drained, you're going to take your fluid pump and fill the differential until it starts to come out of that drain hole there. That's how you know it has the right level, that it's all filled up. And then you will go ahead and tighten the fill bolt, make sure that that and the drain bolt are both completely tight. Now we'll move on to the transmission. Okay, so now to change the transmission fluid, you'll see you have the drain bolt right here, it's 24 millimeter. And then over to the side, right up here, you have the fill bolt. This one I believe is also a 14 millimeter. Now this step, uh, may not be necessary, but it's going to make it a lot easier to remove that fill bolt on the side. Go ahead and remove this silver cross member right here. There's a couple of, I think, 12 millimeter bolts. One here, there, there, and there. So go ahead and remove that. That way we'll have better access to get our wrench on 
the fill bolt. Again, we're gonna do this just like we did the differential where we're gonna remove that fill bolt first. Then we're gonna remove the drain bolt, drain all of the fluid out, reinstall the drain bolt, add all the fluid using our fluid pump, and then tighten that one up as well. Place this cross member back and then we should be good to go. And that is how you change the transmission and the differential fluid in your Miata. It is a bit of a tedious process and a messy one at that. Make sure that you have lots of these blue shop towels or something to clean up uh, spills, but it's a job worth doing yourself. Plus, while you're under the car, you can take a look at all of your other components, see the conditions of them, and just do a general check on the uh, underside of the car here. So let me know if you guys have any questions down in the comments section below. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, make sure to like it and subscribe to the channel to keep up with all the latest videos that I post. And I can't wait to see you in the next video.